Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some things I got from Europe that is free-ish um, that you can collect to bring home and then use in your crafting. So I say free-ish because of course, you know, you can't just get some ribbons. But if you do happen to buy something from uh, some different stores that give you ribbons, I, of course I couldn't bring home the boxes, but I took the packaging apart and I kept the ribbon and then I can use the really nice ribbons in um, some projects and this star. And then this came from another purchase, this chipboard. And so I just keep these things that I can then add to my crafting. But I have other things that are actually free. So I'm gonna sort of, I have piles here. I'm gonna try to go in some sort of order. So one is tickets. So I've got a pile of uh, tickets from France. Um, I think you can get a card, but we had a difficulties trying to find cards. So I just bought tickets, but then I can use all these tickets in my crafting. Um, these are train tickets from Amsterdam. Our British Airways ticket, our Air Canada tickets, and then like tickets to museums, tickets to boat tours. So any sort of paper tickets you get, if you just hold on to them and then you can add those into your projects. Okay, next up is business cards, especially in Paris, they like to give you business cards all the time. But they're, you know, have some nice little um, design to it. So I have a bunch of business cards here that I can use for different projects. And then this was, yeah, from another jewelry store. So collect, like, if you see any colorful or fun business cards, you can pick those up and they're great to add to your projects. Then I have my room keys. Um, some of them are cool, like this sort of wooden room key. This room key is sort of fun. Some are boring. Maybe I'll just use that for slapping paint on, but I like to collect the room keys and you can use them in different ways. Um, some packaging from like, if you have chocolate bars or cookies or that, uh, you can save your little packaging and use that. Um, we went to a, had a, a pub or had a beer, so you can collect these, add those into your projects. And then maps is a big one. These are, we're all free from like the Tulip Garden, um, Dublin, Paris, because it's always fun to add like, I like to add maps to my projects. So you have the streets or areas or things you visited, what have you. Um, they're free, they're there for you to take, and then you can cut them up and put them into your projects. Then when you visit places, you can have like, so this, oh, that was another map, another map. Um, so from like the church we visited, it will either have information, sometimes this one's just basically information but some of the other ones will have photos. Um, yeah, so lots of photos from different arts. So you can cut up these little squares, even floor maps. Um, again, this is from the Louvre or even like the writing. So say, let's see, is there writing on this one? How do I open it? Like, so down here we have like some French writing or that. So that's always good. You can cut it up and just for the texture in the background. And whenever it's like a language other than English, for English people, it makes it a little more interesting. Um, this was from a little thing we got from a receipt. When we went to Angelina's, this was more packaging from some cookies. Um, we bought some knitwear, but even like made in Ireland, that's cool, you could add it to. This is a little certificate, different knits. 
So just any of these little pamphlets that you come across. Um, you never know how you can cut them up and add them, either pictures or even the text. Um, oh, this is a few more at Disney. Our things come in an envelope, so you have an envelope to somehow add to some of your projects. Um, this, again, I think the receipt was just put in there. Some chocolate little pamphlets. In Belgium, we ate a lot of chocolate. Uh, this is a bag, but just the blue paper you could probably use. Um, Disney gives you this little newsletter. So there's areas of that you can cut up and add up. Then you've got like, if you bought things, you have tissue paper. So like this one has a Liberty on it, a Boca. Um, bags, like all these little um, bags are fun because if you want to put little pockets in your project or any places that had stickers from the little store in uh, Belgium. This was another cool bag. Um, this one here, if it has writing, like I have Temple Street and or Temple Bar and Dublin. I've got Sherlock Holmes. This one from the Japanese store with these designs on it. Uh, this is the little stamp store in Amsterdam. So that's sort of cool. Here's another one with like a little stamp that you could use from the Westminster Abbey shop, the British flags, the V&A from Belgium. Um, there's a couple here from Holland with the typical little print or from the Tulip Festival. And then this one was cool from President Correct. It, I can actually take this off and use it. And then finally, even just shopping bags. So what, I'm gonna show you some shopping bags. So when I had gone to Paris last year, I collected shopping bags and I actually used them to put all my Christmas gifts in. So you can use them as gift bags or like this one here has this design on it. I could cut it up and use some of the design. Butler's chocolates. This, I bought some glasses. Waterstones. This one's really pretty too. So that would make a really cute gift bag. I would just leave it like this, but if you didn't want the um, logo, you could just cut, punch out a circle and put it there and then you have a really pretty gift bag. Herod's. I mean, if somebody got a Herod's bag, you just have to warn them the gift might not be from there, but it's a cute bag and it's green, perfect for Christmas. You have this one here, like how cute is that? I mean, anybody getting a gift in that, I'm sure they'd love it. I love this bag. Uh, this is a bright, fun bag. And then it's also fun when you have like other languages on it, such as Dutch. This is a cool design from the V&A. An Hermes bag, of course. Somebody gets that again, just warn them in advance. It's not from Hermes. A little cute jewelry bag. This one's pretty with the little stars. What was this for? Oh, okay. So, you know, you don't always have to buy things to get little crafting supplies. Any paper or little element, ribbons, tissue, bags that you can add into your projects. Just collect it all. I put it in the outside of my suitcase in the pocket. And then I come home and I have all these fun little things that I can play with and experiment with. And they're just pieces of your trip that um, help you remember like, oh, when I spent all that time buying glasses at Anna Valentine or what have you, or yeah, yummy chocolates from Butler's. So Hopefully that gives you some ideas on the next time you're out and about and uh, traveling and even in your wherever you live. Maybe there's pamphlets and stuff you can pick up and add to your projects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple of the videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.